So I'm currently making the um, currently making a faceted bead uh, necklace. It's a beautiful piece, and what I'm doing is um, this is a jhumka mold, I'm lining it with a little bit of oil, and I'm using one, two, three, four, the fifth one, and this. Um, this is a well kneaded ball of clay, press it and then I cut off the excess. So this is the uh, measure of the bead. So this becomes a nice round bead. And I let this bead sit for a couple of minutes. Uh, maybe, um, you know, because right now if I actually try and slice off the surface, uh, it's not going to look very good. Uh, so I'll just keep this aside for a bit, let it sit let it dry a little bit um, you know uh, I would say to a leather hard state and then I start uh, slicing off the surface so now uh, these beads have been sitting out for a couple of minutes and uh, let's let's try uh, slicing off the surface in this manner you see this in this manner and I'm using my exacto uh, knife for this it's really nice uh, gives you sharp clean crisp cuts so I prefer using this uh, for this purpose. So what I do is uh, this this bead is uh, at a leather hard state. It's a clean knife and I slowly start slicing off just the surface not too much. So the next phase is um, I just take this brass pipe, line it with a little bit of oil and then make a hole for this bead. So once the beads are all uh, completely ready, I'll let it dry uh, and once completely dried, it's fired. So I'm using the HTC uh, kiln over here for firing and once fired, this is how it looks. So um, I've made a uh, two batches of these beads uh, so one is for a um, antique silver and the other one is for an antique gold um, so um, what I do is basically mix a little bit of silver with um, very little black and uh, mix it up and I get an antique silver um, so I'm using my hands for this the paint has absolutely uh, not a single drop of water it's completely undiluted it's a very thick consistency of paint that I'm using over here 
um, and I'm just um, applying it, applying a little bit on my hands and then uh, rolling the beads. Uh, but if you are allergic and uh, you know you don't want to use your hands, I, you, know, you can always use a, a brush. Um, so yeah, and I do the same thing for the gold as well. Uh, now this is only the first coat for faceted beads like this metallic colors work great and with metallic colors it's best that you go on to apply at least two coats of paint so once the first coat which is done by my hand is completely dried i go on to use a brush and then add that second coat of paint for complete coverage So once the bead, uh, the beads are completely painted and dried, I go on to apply a coat of matte varnish. That's the product I use, and I do it bead by bead. Uh, it is it is a time consuming process, but it's worth it uh, because it just gives it a nice neat finish. So once the varnish is completely dried, I go on to assemble with the help of a uh, nylon cord. Now I have several assembling videos listed on my channel. So those of you who are new to our channel, please do take a look at it. I'll also try and link a couple of them in the description box below, which I think will be useful for you. Uh, I link assembling videos as well as tassel making videos because I have used both of those methods over here as well. Uh, so I really hope you found this video useful. It's a beautiful necklace and this, the, both of these pieces are listed on my website for sale. So please do take a look at it. I'll leave that link as well in the description box below. So I really hope you all enjoyed watching the process uh, of making this beautiful faceted necklace. Please do uh, leave your comments um, and also uh, share like and subscribe uh, you know to our channel it would it would really mean a lot to me thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for watching